Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back uh, to our last episode before Christmas. And we'll be doing a ho, ho, ho a little bit later on. But last time out, we uh, managed to get two rather good wins against former uh, football league sides in the uh, in the guise of Notts County and Scunthorpe United. Today, we play a side that's been languishing in non-league, in the Van Rama National League, to be uh, precise, for some 14 years, a former football league side, but some time ago. Welcome to episode 16 of To Be A Legend. My name's Mark and on today's episode we have for you two games in the Van Rama National League. Uh, first up, Wrexham, uh, as I said, have been languishing in the non-league, were former football league side, languishing in non-league for about 14 years, uh, uh, fell out of uh, League 2 um, in around 2007-2008. Uh, and then Hampton and Richmond, who are uh, a newish side, I think. We'll have a look at them in just a moment to get a little bit of an upskill. Uh, but as I've uh, said in the intro, this is our last uh, episode of To Be A Legend before Christmas. We'll continue after Christmas, um, but obviously having a few days off. Um, so before we eat the turkey and the Christmas pudding and all the rest of it and get brrr, full up, um, we're just going to have a few mince pies today. Um, and hopefully they're going to be rather enjoyable in the games that we're going to have. Um, so let's uh, get into it straight away. First up, um, let's have a look and see uh, what's been going on since you were last with us. Or we would do if things hadn't frozen. We are all right. We're, we're okay now. Goodness me. Oh, dear. I don't need things like this to be happening. Uh, since you were last with us at Notts County and Scunthorpe was mentioned, uh, we have had a 2-2 draw against Torquay United. Whoa, that was a bit of a bit of a scary one as well because uh, they went two up after 38 minutes. Lloyd Humphreys uh, 10 minutes in. Corey Andrews after 38. Looked like we were about to get a wallop in. Um, but Jaden Redman had other ideas. Um, he scored a rather worldy goal, actually. We, well, I think we ought to have a look at this one. Um, If this is, if my memory serves me right, Jackson to Kirby, Linton, inside and Raymond. It wasn't the year goal that I thought it was actually, but uh, yeah, got us back in uh, two one at half time, and then Scott Bowden from the penalty spot after fifty five minutes. Um, they did have a player spent sent not spent off, but sent off. Um, I've not been on the drink yet, I promise. Um, but to be honest, I. We should have won this one. I mean, it's it's our usual story. Look at it. 18 shots, 9 on target, 50%, 7, uh, 2.71 on the XG, 57% possession against their 16 and 6. They weren't that far behind us, to be fair. Uh, 1.73, 43% possession. I think we should have still taken it. The fact that we were away, I'll accept, um, was probably... Um, about as much as we could do. Right, uh, transfers-wise, there has been a bit of activity, I think. As you'll see, um, we'll go back to that screen in just a moment. Um, nobody coming in, nobody going out. Um, so what was I thinking of? In fact, I think Tom Sams might have gone out to Spennymore since you were last with us. Sean Brisley going out to Darlington on loan. Tom Sams has left us to go to Spennymore. Um, I thought there was another one come in. I was dreaming. Uh, Joe Hardy is the uh, player that we are uh, in for at the moment. He is a striker. Uh, we got our fingers crossed for him. Uh, we do need a little bit of oomph up front, and so hopefully he will give it to us. Um, we we end up with too many strikers then, so we're going to have to offload at some point or other. Um, right, let's go back to the size that we're playing today. Wrexham, as we said, um, history-wise, uh, they got a history of... Uh, League One football at one point, back way back, way back, uh, 2003-2004, got relegated 
in 2004-2005 into League 2. League 2, 13th, 19th, and then got relegated into non-league uh, 2007, 2008, um, and then have spent all their time up and down in that league at various positions. So Half has got as high as second on a couple of occasions, obviously not getting through the playoffs. So they are obviously a bit of playoff shy, shall we say. Um, and were top favourites to get out of this uh, competition this year. Um, I think at one point, I don't know what their odds are now. Can we, uh, can we go and have a look? Let's see if that's changed. Yeah, their odds have, have, have slimmed down somewhat. They were something like um, something 3 to 10, I don't know, 31. I don't know. I can't remember what it was. You go back and have a look at the... Uh, the um, the video and um, it will tell you uh, but they are uh, 16 uh, 1 to 16 odds on uh, to get out of this league uh, we've moved up to 18th i think we were down in 19th 25 to 1 we're now 33 to 1 um so yeah um that's how the table looks uh, for us at the moment uh, uh we're top still on two points despite that 2-2 uh, two -two draw against Torquay United the other sides around us not doing a great deal uh, Ebbsfleet and Barrow are third and fourth on 14 points and Eastleigh, Scunthorpe and Gateshead on 13. Halifax Town just outside the playoff uh, places on 12 points and then down in the drop zone, Wealdstone, Spennymoor, Ham Hampton and Richmond are second team that we will play today and Altrincham, talking about Hampton and Richmond, we did say that we would have a look and see where they've come from. Um, Yes, so they've they've been in the in the um, in the lower echelons. Um, they were promoted from the Vanarama National League South uh, last season. As you see, they have uh, had various played in the Vanarama National League South since two thousand six two thousand seven. So they've been down a couple of times. They got relegated in two thousand eleven. Spent a couple of three seasons down in um, the Ryman League Premier Division and then got promoted out of there in 2015-16 and since then have worked their way up, as I say, last season getting promoted out of the Vanarama National League South up into the Vanarama uh, National League. Um, so they'll be hopeful that they can stay up and they uh, need to be doing some more groundwork if they are going to do that. Right. That's all the uh, chittle tattle for now. Let's get on with the episode. Home game then against Wrexham first up. And uh, let's have a look and see the team that will play Wrexham. And this is the side that uh, will face Wrexham. Molden in goal. Linton, Greenidge, Gamble and Senior back in on the right-hand side. Kamwa and Greaves. In central midfield, Osborne, Spence and Moss are um, our attacking line in, uh, behind Norquette, who gets back uh, the nod to start up front. A granite, Ayana, Raymond, Bunn and Girolamo on the bench. And this is how the two sides face up against one another. You'll see that... Uh, Danny Schofield is the manager and uh, <clears throat> he is playing a 3-4-2-1 um, or you could call it a 5-2-2-1, two, two, whichever way you look at it. Um, Paul Mullin is uh, their striker, Garrett in goal, and that's the team's uh, how they face one another. For our first highlight, Osborne has a free kick inside the D and he scored <clears throat> his second goal of the season and we are one up inside a minute against Wrexham. I am tempted just because I'm curious as much as anything else. Let's have a look and see what led to that. If we have a look, can we have a look? As Kamwa holds the ball up, Greenidge 
Linton. Linton comes forward. Spence. And Spence is tackled inside the D by Morrison. And that's how the free kick came about. It gave Osborne the opportunity. And a lovely curled shot. It was two. Senior with a throw in on the far side. Long throw for Spencer. Didn't quite get there, but Camois picks it up into the area. Camois has a shot, but uh, Garrett is equal to it. Camois with the ball in the centre circle. Looking for Moss. Moss has been tackled, but Moss will go and pick the ball up. Brings it back for Spence. Spence to Camois. Camois through. Senior crosses it. Looking for somebody to put a... A kick on it, and we've got a penalty now as well. Lee has tackled um, Linton. Um, yeah, that ball coming across, looking for somebody to just get a toe to it, but there wasn't anybody in the area in the six-yard box to uh, put that away. Who's going to step up for this? Number seven, Spence. Sion Spence sends, uh, I was going to say, sends the goalkeeper the wrong way. He didn't. His first goal of the season, though, Sion Spence does a jig. In front of the, uh, <clears throat> I'm not sure if it was in front of the uh, away supporters. And we go two up. Spence with the corner now. Comes in, it's head over the top by Greenwich. Morrison with the throw in on the far side for Wrexham to Jones. Anderson. Greenwich heads that clear. Greaves has picked up a yellow card again. He's a naughty boy. He picks up lots of yellow cards. And uh, Norquette. Loses that ball. And it's all into space for Rowe. Rowe crosses it in, but Linton is there. Only as far as Rowe. Mullin! Oh, dear. And a volleyed kick from the edge of the area. We'll basically give that ball back. Well, Linton did. Chipped it straight back to Rowe. Rowe hit it first time. And... Uh, I can't blame the goalkeeper for that. He was unsighted. Defender was blocking his view of Mullin about to volley that ball. And half time has arrived. We've had seven shots, three on target. They've had five shots, three on target. Uh, 1.53 XG for us, 55.55 for them. Uh, and it's pretty even. Stevens on uh, possession. So 2 um, 1 at half time. Uh, it's not a foregone conclusion. We need to uh, buck our ideas up in the second half. And we have a highlight from kickoff. Mullin kicking us off. Second half. No changes at half time. Osborne cuts that ball out. Camois. Camois comes forward. Spence. Greaves. Wide looking for Osborne. Osborne gets it. Into the area. Norquette. He scored his first goal of the season. In the Vanarama National League. It's uh, been a long time coming. Let's hope that opens the floodgates now. Norquette just squeezing that in. I don't think it was going to go for a minute. But uh, lovely worked ball. Osborne into the area. Norquette just ciphers it very gently past Garrett. And uh, into the side netting. Garrett with a goal kick. Comes forward. Greaves is underneath it. Hits it down. Norquette. To Moss. Campbell. Senior. Senior comes forward. Still coming forward. Holds the ball up. Nobody there. And he's uh, given the ball away. But uh, Gamble gets underneath that. Greaves. Over the top to Norquette. Norquette doubles. He's uh, goals for the season. And uh, like I said, maybe it's going to open the floodgates. And uh, it has now. Norquette. Lovely ball over the top. Gamble. Down to Greaves. Greaves with the assist over the top. Norquette chested it down and then on the volley. And it's number two for Norquette. Just on side. Morrison with a throw in for Wrexham. Long throw. Greenwich heads it out. Osborne has come back to defend but picks the ball up. Comes forward. He's been tackled. But he still won the ball. Has lost it then. Having won it back. And we've got to be careful. Wrexham 
come forward. They are dangerous, of course. They're not favourites for no reason at all. Kamwa gets it forward for Norket, but Norket can't get there. <clears throat> Maybe we need to change him away from a target forward. As the ball's coming in. He's not really tall enough for a target forward, in my mind. That one over the top. Rowe has got there, and Rowe's got a second for Wrexham. Brought it down lovely, and he smashed that into the side netting. Question of whether he was offside. I think being played on by Greenwich, just very fine line. I would have expected whoever this is. We'll find out in a moment. Senior to have actually tackled him. Nelson with a free kick. Jones. Anderson, Rowe, and not Bazdeen out here, but he's tackled by Senior. Spence comes back and picks it up. That ball again for Norcat, and it's not getting there, is it? All over the top, Mullins in, and it's saved by Molden. I couldn't remember his name then for a minute. He changed Norcat to a pressing forward. 75 minutes on the clock it is time to have a look at some changes we have tired legs joel senior is tired and ayana probably come on for him patrick gamble is tired as well reeves is tired in midfield Jaden redmond can come on for him as a ball winning midfielder Switched around. I think he is. Put him down as the Mazala then. Spence in that front area. Um, for our second change, do we take Senior off or do we take Gamble off? Um, Right, we'll take Gamble off because he's complacent. So we'll bring Josh Granite on for him. And just do those two changes for the moment. Linton not getting underneath that. Granite. Oh, he's giving the ball away to Rowe. And Rowe's dangerous. He's, oh, he's come off the post. Linton puts that out for a corner. Oof. We're living by the uh, skin of our teeth here. Jones with a corner. Comes in, it's headed away. Norcat's been tackled, tripped, and all the rest of it. But he's won the ball back, uh, but given it away. Highlight's not over yet. Greenwich down to Linton. Raymond. Greenwich trying to get it forward to Norcat. Didn't get there again. Kamwa. Greenwich. This highlight must have a reason to it. Long and looping. Os uh, Osborne's not going to get there. Osborne's won it. Uh, it's come back off the post and they've got it out into touch. We have a throw in. Senior Raymond. Raymond crosses that ball looking for Osborne. But Osborne would have been in an offside position had he been there. Linton. And uh, we can't seem to get forward or get through that wall of red at the moment. Greenwich holding the ball up. Camois. Granite. Run it, and it's uh, headed down, and that man Rowe is causing us all sorts of problems. Badzine crosses it in. Mullin, oh, and he um, pulled at that. That should have been a goal. He was in acres of space. Molden with the goal kick to Greenwich. Greenwich out wide to Senior. Senior comes forward. And what? Referee's in the way. Raymond. Raymond goes out wide looking for Moss. Moss is going to get there. Into the area. Oh. It's Norkett looking for his hat trick. It's come out to Moss. Uh, but he's got it forward to Rowe. 
and what and we make one final change as you come back and that change i think is joel senior why has this done this again joel senior um Jordan Ayana coming on for him. Full time is upon us. It's a 4-2 win against Wrexham. Looked a bit doubtful at times. We went to 3-1 uh, up and 4-1 uh, up. And uh, yeah, it was uh, it was looking a bit suspect at certain points. But uh, we managed to find our way through 24 shots, 8 on target, 4.08, uh, 51% possession. They had 10 shots, 6 on target. Uh, 1.76 for them um but we'll take that that's a good win um and how does it leave us in the table generally a good all-round team performance i think uh which means that after eight games uh hampton richmond have played nine games along with barnet um we are top of the table with 20 points a goal difference of plus 12 um, the three points clear now of Ebb's Fleet, Barrow on 17, Eastleigh 16, Torquay United and Halifax Town on 15, Chesterfield are in 7th on 14, Scunthorpe just outside the playoff places on 13, so seven points clear of Scunthorpe at the moment after eight games. That's not bad going, is it? Um, so uh, looking very good for um, you know the, the continuation of the start that we have had to our season. Right, let's uh, move on then uh, to our second game of the episode. It's a Hampden and Richmond then, um, promoted last season from the Vanarama National League South. And let's see how we can get on against them. It is a an away game, I think, against uh, yep, Hampton and Richmond at Kingfield Stadium. And you come back, uh, but not for the team that is going to face um, Hampton and Richmond in this one, but to look at the transfers. Joe Hardy, the player that we had in the uh, transfer um, screen, has actually come in. A four-star current ability, four-and-a-half star potential. Um, he's 25 years old. He's a striker. He's come in, and um, as you will see, um his career started at manchester city brentford liverpool accrington stanley last out uh inverness caledonians somewhere in between uh but he comes to us um hopefully can do a job for us um norquette will be the number two now really uh, which means that uh, girolamo goes down the pecking order a little bit um but we have three half decent strikers in that uh central if we look at the uh, squad planner um we look at the if we get them to sort it which is always good um ignore these couple of players here um spence can play up front as well but we got manny norquette um and then girolamo's down here as it stands but joe hardy probably the uh the biggest or best player in that position and um, obviously um, Raymond and Spence are the best players in that uh, attacking midfield role so with that all said and done let's have a look at the team that will face uh, Hampton and Richmond Molden continues in goal Linton Greenwich Gamble and Senior are backline Camwa and Greaves in front of them Osborne Raymond and Moss are attacking midfield behind Hardy up front. Granite, Ayana, Spence, Bunn, and Norquette are our bench. And this is how the two teams line up. They play a 4 4 2. And uh, Gary McCann is the manager at uh, Hampton and Richmond. And this is how we line up with uh, Hardy, Joseph, uh, Joe Hardy up front for the first time making his debut here at the kingfield stadium and the first highlight donaldson throws it into gray crosses the ball in greenwich heads it clear but uh it's only gone so far and oh it's come back off the crossbar linton clears and uh with only two minutes on the clock we're uh looking a bit creaky at the back there 
Coda. Back to Coda. Inside to Solomon. And it's headed. And that one's come off. They've hit the woodwork twice in two minutes. And we're on the break now. Moss, who is tackled. And uh, I think uh, an injury to their player there. And we have a corner. Osborne Senior with a header. And it's over the top. Senior with a throw in. Long throw looking for Raymond. Didn't find him. Linton. Greaves. Who's picked up another yellow card. Linton. Camwa. Osborne. And uh, we haven't seen Hardy at all yet. Whether that bodes well or not. Senior underneath that one. But he didn't get very far. Only as far as Gray. And uh, tell you what. They've not been the side that uh, I thought they were. And they've scored. Wood, Tommy Wood has scored a fifth goal. I think he's offside, actually. It is disallowed for offside, but we really need to get ourselves sorted out here. Greenwich looked like he was limping. Struggling to get back into position. Luckily, offside. And another corner. Osborne with the corner. This time, much deeper. Camwa goes back out wide to Osborne. Osborne crosses it in, but it's uh, cut out. Moss comes forward. Moss gets to the edge of the crosses it in, but it's fired over the top by Osborne. And that was the last highlight of the half. 12 shots, three on target, 0.97, 55% of the possession. Hampton and Richmond have had eight shots, one on target, which was the one that is disallowed, I think. Uh, 0.66 and they've hit the woodwork twice that did that in the first uh two minutes um we're in control but we're not really um the output isn't quite right so uh we need to be doing something in the second half joe hardy the poor person of the match so far and with 60 minutes on the clock um nothing has happened so far in this half and hardy's gone to a 6.1 He's coming off. Norkett going to come on in his place. That's a poor debut from Hardy. I expected a lot more from him. Very disappointing. And, uh, yeah, really did expect more um, on that side of the pitch. Sam Osborne not having a great game. Um, Harry Bunn is going to come on to replace him. Um, Harry Bunn. We will play as an inside forward on attack. Just those two changes for the moment then. Uh, and it's headed over the top. And with 75 minutes on the clock, we uh going to make one other change. Greenwich is tired. He's had the yellow card as well. So Josh Granite will come on for him. Um, Opposition-wise... Think I think Zakwa needs marking. And I'm also thinking let's uh, go in hard on these players. We really it's nil nil. We should be uh, they're near the bottom of the table. We should be beating these uh this sort of team. Well, that was a disappointing result against the side that were at the bottom of the table. It's a nil-nil, a bore draw, nothing. Um, we didn't even get uh, anything out of the... Uh, I mean, we've played against a 4-4-2, and maybe that's just causing us problems. I don't know. Maybe that's just we couldn't find a way through. But, uh, oh, that's not so good. Let's see what it's done to the table. Maybe Girolamo isn't finished yet. Uh, still three points clear at the top of the table against Torquay United now in second. Uh, they must have had a good win today, a 2-1 win against Ebbsfleet, who are now down into third on 17 points with Chesterfield and Barrow. Uh, Eastleigh in sixth and uh, Grimsby Town are down in 15, uh, sorry, down in seventh with 15 points along with Halifax. And our first uh, opponents today, Wrexham. I don't know how we beat Wrexham if we played like we did today. Hampton and Richmond are still on the bottom. Four points adrift from Spennymore in 20th place. But uh, they won't be down there long if they continue to play like they have 
today. It's one of those uh, play the teams down the bottom, don't do very well, play the teams near the top, and we uh, seem to excel. It's uh, age-old thing in football. It's all psychological and all the rest of it. Um, not a good start for Hardy. A uh, bit disappointing, to be honest. Let's hope he uh, bucks his ideas up in the next uh, couple of games. Not quite how we wanted to finish going into Christmas, really, was it? Uh, right, we're going to play a few games. We're going to come back uh, for Barrow. Are we coming back from Barrow our fifth at the minute? Ebsfleet our third. Um, I'm not sure whether to do Barrow and the FA Cup fourth, fourth qualifying round or Ebsfleet at... Uh, we have the fourth qualifying round, whatever happens. We'll probably start the next episode with the draw because it will happen somewhere in here. Um, FA Cup fourth qualifying round. And then we will either have the Barrow um, and whoever that is, or we will have that and the Ebsfleet game, uh, whichever way around it turns out to be. So that will be our next episode. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. If you have, don't forget to leave me that big thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification button. Keeps you up to date with all future episodes of To Be A Legend and any new series uh, that we release in due course. Uh, if you want to keep up to date what's happening on this channel and more, then you need to follow me on Twitter at Just Offside 2. Normally, uh, new episodes of To Be A Legend released every Monday and Thursday at 4.15pm, but next week, uh, running out of Christmas. We're going to uh, obviously not do anything on Monday. We're going to have Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday next week. So this uh, next episode of To Be A Legend will be out on Tuesday next week. I'd like to take this opportunity to wish you all a very happy Christmas. Stay warm. Uh, enjoy yourselves. I know it's, uh, you know, with the credit crisis and all the rest of it, it is, uh, it's a bit of a, a worrying time for all of us. And uh, all I can do is to say, I wish you all the very best for Christmas. Don't forget that uh, that it, what the celebration is really all about, uh, Christmas, and uh, make sure that you don't uh, lose sight of that. And uh, and pray that the new year will be a good new year and uh, hopefully a lot better than what we're currently with, with all the strikes and all the rest of it. So from me and the channel, I'd like to say a very big thank you to all your support. Um, certainly from the start of FM 23 and and before. And uh, I hope you'll join me and stay with me. And if you haven't subscribed up to now, please subscribe. That's my Christmas or your Christmas present to me is to subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching. See you on the next episode. It'll be episode 17. It's out on Tuesday. And don't eat too much turkey. Bye-bye. <laughs>